Today is day two of my medical surveillance here in Hong Kong. Yes, I have to wear a mask everywhere. So not only do I have to do a rat test, but I also need to go and get a PCR test. And they're going to jam a little swab down my throat. They don't do it up your nose anymore. Other than that, I don't really know how to make an exciting vlog about Hong Kong and uh, PCR tests. So, we'll just walk around noisy alleyways like this and see what we can find. Yeah, stop touching your face when you vlog, Lee. Alright, let's go for a walk. Watching a million and one Casey Neistat vlogs has taught me one thing. You need some conflict and resolution in your videos. I got my PCR test done and it was much easier than I expected. It literally took 30 seconds. So what do I vlog about? So I've come back to where I used to live in Hong Kong, the mid-levels. When I used to live here, I used to run up the escalators as quickly as I could to get home. So now I'm just gonna take a leisurely stroll and film the occasion and take you along for the ride. It's not really conflict and resolution, is it? But it's what we've got. The, uh, the walkway I've been looking for. So we can finally do a time lapse. And try not to fall down these fucking stairs. Nobody cares about the time lapses, but I still think this one's gonna look good. Here we go. It's probably impossible to hear me because it's so bloody loud with the road next to me. But I decided to walk the long way back to the hotel. And I'm glad I did because it, it looks a lot like Blade Runner. Hong Kong just looks like Blade Runner. a woman doing a opera on a tram. You see that every day. So I'm back in my poorly lit hotel room and I've learned a couple of things today. Firstly, it's nice to actually have a studio with proper lighting so I don't look like some peaky blind as criminal. The second is that Hong Kong is incredibly loud and I know before I start editing this video, which I'm going to do in a minute, the sound's going to be awful. Yesterday I tried the Rode Wireless Go 2 and actually didn't sound too bad. Today I've been using the Sennheiser MKE 400. To me it sounds a little bit worse than the Rode and right now I'm using a lavalier mic going into a proper recorder so hopefully this bit sounds all right my ears are uh, enjoying the peace and quiet that's for sure so i didn't have the setup conflict and resolution that i mentioned in the vlog when i was walking around and that's one of the difficult things around trying to vlog every single day is trying to think of something that's interesting for people to watch 
I don't know if this was or not, but I, there is one takeaway, and I am kind of clutching at straws here, and that is, walked a long way home. Um, this video probably would have gone in the bin if it wasn't for those time lapses. I know it's overkill with time lapses. I know nobody cares. Nobody cares that you spent ages filming a time lapse, half an hour of your camera just sitting there. But in Hong Kong, they do look pretty cool. So that's my one little takeaway. Walked a long way home and don't be afraid to post some nonsense if you want to. Um, doing a vlog every single day, it's difficult, especially if you've got a proper job. Uh, so yeah, from day two in Hong Kong, have a cup of tea.